Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a side fan fold. Start by smoothing your shirt and try to get out as many wrinkles as you can. And then using a washable marker and a piece of kite string, draw out your pattern. Next, you want to pleat along this line, making that line as straight as possible. And I think it's a lot easier if you turn your shirt as you're working so that it's in front of you. Now it's time to secure it. And for this project, I'm going to use rubber bands, but you could also use kite string. It's just a matter of preference. And for this project, I'm going to be using my second favorite rubber bands and also those little baby hair ties. I really want to use this over the sink strainer so I'm trying to make the shirt fit and it's just too big and I'm going to work with it here for a minute continuing to try to make it work before I realize I just have to abandon ship and go a different direction. Since the over the sink strainer isn't going to work, I need to build some type of an ice barrier. So I'm going to go with the silicone cake molds. I got them off of Amazon and I have a link for them down below in the description box along with everything else that I use for tie dye. So check that out. If you don't have the cake molds, you could also use tin foil or even cardboard, or you could use anything. You can come up with anything that you can think of to hold the ice in. It's getting pretty exciting guys. We're starting to get into the oranges. So hopefully we're gonna start seeing some color splits soon. So keep in mind for this project, you can use any color that you want or as many colors as you want. This is going into the playlist of the Dharma swatches. So for this one, I'm just using the soft orange.
Grab a mask and give your project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. This is not a necessary step because the shirt was pre-soaked, but I like to do it just in case. I came back after the ice had melted and checked it and the back had a lot of color saturation so I just left it alone and I let it batch for 24 hours after the ice melted. It's been 24 hours since the ice has melted and now it's time for the rinse out. You want to start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then gradually increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a plain hot water cycle and that's to agitate it and remove any of the loose dye that my hands can't do. And then I do a second hot water cycle using Kirilon, which is formerly known as Synthropol. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft to bring softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And I get both of those from Dharma and they're listed down below in the description box. And then I put it in the dryer and we'll come back and see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our soft orange side fan fold after it's been washed and dried. And I like this shirt a lot and I like this color a lot. So this is the first shirt that's actually really doing color splitting, except for the marigold did have some black specks in it. But this shirt is splitting into some fuchsia red. I can see it in there. Every now and again, there's a little tiny speck of fuchsia red. And in the white areas, it does have a little bit of a, well, it's kind of like, it looks like tomato soup color almost. And then in this shirt, I'm seeing a lot of goldfish. And I think I see the goldfish because I decided this is too dark to be a creamsicle, but it's more like a goldfish cracker color or a Cheez-It type cracker color. It's really pretty, but all I see are little tiny goldfish. So I'm wondering, do you guys see the goldfish too? And then right here is the liquid swatch. So that way you're able to see what liquid looks like against the ice dye. And my swatches get a lot of use, so that's just purple all over it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.